Thank you, Holy Spirit. There were three brothers. They lived on the side of the Sea of Galilee. Of course, these three brothers were... Okay, you're wondering what this is. A resurrection, delicious cycle beats the vicious cycle. For this reason, the Father loves me, for I have laid my... For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life, so that I may take it again. Delicious cycle and the vicious cycle. I'll explain what that is to you a little later. Uh, so these three brothers were really three trees. And uh, they were from one mother, meaning one from one tree. Uh, they grew up and in time they grew up and they were loved and one brother was uh, rather stocky and he was and uh, not he I mean the log was taken to a lumber yard and it was naughty also couldn't be used for any furniture so it was languishing for a long while and this three brothers had a talk when they were growing up his first brother said uh, I really like to serve the poor second brother said <laughs> what a foolish ambition that is I want to have an adventurous life I have been seeing Ben 10 all my life I want to have an adventurous life. Third brother said, <clears throat> maybe good for you, not for me. I want to be nothing other than always with a king. I want to have royal dalliance and alliance and I want to be with a king. So in time to come, as I said, the first brother who was rather naughty, he was chopped off and he was not fit for any furniture and they made a... What did they make out of it? I have told this story before. They made a trough to feed animals. It was so naughty, nothing else could be done. So you know what I mean, those days out of, out of a big log, it was dug out and a trough was made and uh, Animals began to feed on it and this was taken to Bethlehem. It was in an inn and one night when this log had been serving for many years, feeding animals, receiving their dung and their saliva and you know, bacteria and one night a young couple came and the lady was great with child, pregnant in childbirth and travail and quickly a baby was born and that baby was put in this trough. It became the famous manger of Bethlehem. The second brother said, <laughs> I want to be adventurous and he was very handsome, tall and he could have been used for anything but a fisherman paid a price and he was a rambunctious fisherman. He said, I'm looking for the perfect boat that can traverse the Sea of Galilee any time, hell or high water. And it was turned into a canoe, a boat. And this particular boat went through the Sea of Galilee many times. And one day, the, it was a whole night of storms and the boat came back and early morning, a stranger came and got onto the boat and told the captain of the ship uh, take it a little forward and that was Jesus of Nazareth getting into whose boat? Peter's boat. The third brother uh, he was tall and for a long time there was no use for him. He, uh, he said, I'm going to serve a king and he was very proud and arrogant and he didn't want to do anything else and he was taken from Lambayard to Lambayard and he went hither, thither. Finally he ended up in a, he meaning the logs of course, huh? ended up in a Lambayard in Jerusalem and he was getting uh, wet in wet weather, cold in cold weather, hot in hot weather. 
heat waves came and went and it cracked up and you know and one day some soldiers came and knocked the owner of the lambia you know how soldiers take things we want to choose some logs and quickly this this particular tree had been logged into two logs and they took this and to a place called place called place called calvary or golgotha and they nailed him to one log and raised him up on the other log so the ambition of the younger brother came to be fulfilled he became the chair the bed of a dying king and his name was jesus christ so today we are going to look at the resurrection from the eyes of three little ladies do i have it on the script i always try to read it from the bible nothing like reading the scripture from a proper printed bible we know there are other bibles nowadays but we like to read a proper printed bible i hope you have your proper printed bible do you have your proper printed bible we project the scriptures and all that but it is best to look at our own bible this is our mirror this is our walk this is our map this is our god's scope is it mark chapter 16 now when the sabbath was passed mary magdalene Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices that they might come and anoint him. Mary was the first. So the first principle we are learning is this Mary had a quite a character. And she is identified a little later in the same passage as Mary, out of whom seven demons went out. Imagine you going around in the city of Colombo, and everybody says, "Shh, she had seven devils. Shh, she had seven devils. What a reputation is it? What a way to be called!" But she became the first to go to the tomb and first to see the. lord so the first principle of the resurrection is that whatever your reputation has been god wants to make you first will you tell your neighbor whatever your reputation maybe your neighbor had a very good reputation i mean you may be knowing her for a long time almost from the day of birth but whatever your reputation god wants to make you first will you believe this whatever your reputation god wants to make you first now magdala was like it was not a nice town so when you say magdala mary of magdala that it that itself had a certain uh, what you call it a certain stigma like saying church in vanathamulla or a camp site in sedavatta jala bad places right thinking places don't go to such straight thinking people don't go to such places so magdala was a town of sacrifice to a uh, demon god so it it and it had temple prostitutes are you listening so it magdala was a bad town and magdala was one of the 10 cities on the western shore of galilee where pigs were raised and prodigal sons went to have a bad time so you get the picture give me a wave if you understand i'm just drawing for you what mary's mag- background was today when we say mary magdalene there's a holy aura about it isn't it but then when it was said mary of magdala huh? magdala she came from magdala yeah every town or city has a certain area the people of that area don't like to say i am from that area chilav has it morotu has it nigambu has it jaila has it particular particular part uh, so our church we we have come here and we have changed the name of our vicinity we have called it jeevano there will you say with me jeevano there and this morning we had a real wonderful service time i came to preach i couldn't because there was such a like as when jahan was leading there was an atmosphere here people are dancing i just thought it won't be right for me to get up on the stage 
because they were really worshipping the dance broke out and it it went on for some time before i could venture to get up here because when the lord is being worshipped and the king has come who am i to get up on a stage isn't it so i just waited at the back till they really danced and chains broke and yesterday we had this amazing phenomenon we had planned a little meeting few of us and i had sent some emails to the senior digs then at about meeting was to begin at 5:30 at 4:45 chandima phoned me and said better if you come i mean she had never said a thing like this better if you come 45 minutes ahead of the meeting because senior police officers had started arriving there were six when i came it became 10 20 30 40 it was at est court up there 50 60 finally the whole place was full not not one more chair could be put in because the dig training had sent the police dispatch saying go and get yourself trained so we had to completely rearrange the program and i spoke to them of being shepherds appointed by god in their profession when when they when i was concluding they said sir won't you have again a thing like this i said we will i said i'll send you a question paper so shall we give a hand clap to jesus that so many police officers came to the house of god and the thing is this when they all went away we finished our other meeting i went up with some and a sailor hall was empty i went right up to the front and knelt down i felt as as if the tomb was opened do you understand there's a holy hush as if the as if the nation had come of course there were 80 senior police officers from every police station of the western province gampa kalutara kalambu they had been ordered to come so they came in their uniform I thought it was a wonderful Easter gift but we are at Mary Magdalene who came out of such a bad town but the Lord saved her you know one demon is enough for a person to be vexed and wounded but when seven demon gets into a person it must have been terrible isn't it but the lord healed her completely and she became the first to have this honor we will say first to have this honor do you like to be the first to have the honor of something related to serving the lord early morning she was first to go and she waited peter and john came and went away but she waited till she met with the lord this day so that's the thing she waited the old sabbath ritual was now over sabbath was past now sabbath god created for man but jews by that time had made sabbath a rigor so you will find in the life of our lord jesus christ he always had contention about the sabbath he was redefining sabbath and reestablishing what sabbath was meant to be that it would it would be a great day of benefit for people to be healed and set free but the jewish hierarchy used the sabbath day to prove the point that some sinners would be vexed and they shouldn't even come to the temple so they were left out the lame people the lepers the outcasts so to to the jewish mind of legalism sabbath was used legalistically to prove how good the priest and the serving kind was and how sinful the people were and there were 666 sabbath legislations people had to remember it had become such a torment that sabbath was past will you say all sabbath was over and that sabbath related to a day but this sabbath relates to a person which do you think is better that sabbath related to a day this sabbath relates to a person that sabbath related to a ritual this sabbath related to resurrection let's go and clap to jesus So now sabbath it was a new sabbath old sabbath was passing a new sabbath was coming because jesus christ had come to give us freedom and these ladies had no faith they were expecting jesus to be dead 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 how dead they were going to anoint a corpse with whatever 
spices they could get so before sabbath ended after jesus was buried they quickly ran and collected the spices they must have had about half an hour you remember uh, jews are so holy they crucified him at nine o'clock 12 noon darkness came three o'clock he died it is finished earthquake came and the, and the veil rent now they say from the point of crucifixion on Golgotha which is available today to see the temple was visible I follow me temple was visible so the soldiers who were crucifying including the centurion while Jesus was dying he saved the thief he saved the centurion and he saved his own skeptical brothers you remember just a little before the last feast of tabernacles in john 7 they said why don't you go and prove yourself if you are a big fellow his own brothers they all got saved while he was dying and the centurion saw the earthquake saw the eclipse and saw the temple veil being renting rent torn and the earthquake dismantling the old temple that's what the earthquake did it did a lot of damage are you following me it did a lot of damage historically it is recorded that earthquake was felt in nice and in rome it was a multi-tectonic earthquake it was felt in many countries something it was some records say it was even felt in the americas it's all recorded so it is true what the bible says is true so sabbath was passed and the new covenant was coming they had no faith but love moved them say it me love moved them you know when a mother has a sick child your heart is trembling because of love you will not let that child's life go isn't it because of love there's love there's hope faith then love when even when faith is failing love holds on that's what held on for mary magdalene and early morning they went they were yet into old veneration but new worship in the spirit was beginning they were taking the material stuff the incense and what not because this treating the dead body was a very important part of Jewish ritual burial it's a very important part the burial process uh, was very important um, you see there's a prophecy who remembers that he would be numbered with the transgressors but he would be buried with the rich strange isn't it queer thing to say you agree it's odd thing to say buried with the rich remember the prophecy I think you are recalling Isaiah 53 9 that he was buried with the rich why was it important and they made his grave with the wicked but with the rich at his death why was it important who was the rich man who offered the tomb Joseph of Arimathea how important was he he could immediately go to Pilate and say give me the body not everybody can do that agree give me a wave if you are following my thinking not everybody can do that very rich man very influential man who can go to the Roman governor and ask for the body of a Jewish criminal sentenced under Roman law for being a rebel you know he was tried for treason Pilate was convinced it was not so but still he allowed and Joseph of Arimathea goes and asks Pilate can I have the body what did Pilate say what did Pilate say is he dead already because the Jews now wanted to bury him before six o'clock they wanted to do the murder kill him and be holy before six o'clock he has to be buried where six o'clock Sabbath begins now tell your neighbor I'm not like that can you understand that peace <laughs> crucified him killed him led false witness against him but by six he must be buried and finished so their sabbath will be kept holy so that's why according to jewish tradition quickly joseph of arimathea went at three o'clock he died 
and he negotiated for the body of course he was a rich man influential man and he was given the body so that nobody could deny the tomb was empty got the point got the point it was not just another place it was not some cave and this rich man's the garden tomb is available for inspection today. It's about 100 meters from Golgotha, the skull face. When you go to Israel, you'll see the face of that. It looks a skull face. You don't, no one has to describe it. And it's about 100 meters away. You get the garden tomb. And it's a garden. It was a vineyard. Vineyard of five acres. How do you know the size of the vineyard? From the size of the wine vat. Wine vat is, is, a, is a, wine vat was hoon, hoon cut into a rock. So when you look at the size of the wine vat in the garden, in that garden, you could say it was about it was a vineyard of about five acres. You are following me, huh? you are still with me. And from that place of Golgotha, he could be easily taken into this tomb of this rich man, Joseph of Arimathea. So when he was risen, risen and the tomb was empty, there were two witnesses whom they could not uh, sidetrack. Joseph of Arimathea, a very important citizen and a member of the Sanhedrin, and the other one who supplied the spices. Who supplied the spices and the bandages? Nicodemus. They both said he was dead and we saw where he was buried. Joseph's tomb. That Joseph's tomb is now empty and with Jerusalem teeming with multitude there was no way to hide a body. Even in Colombo it's not easy to hide a body isn't it? Even if you put it in the Kalani river in two days time it will start floating. Compared to Jerusalem Colombo is a big city. No place to hide a body so we know Jesus was risen. Anyone said that he didn't leave a bone to kiss, venerate, a hair, sorrow, nothing, not sorry. Are you? What if he left his? What if he left his clavicle, or his humerus, or his femur? Nothing, not even a piece, because he's risen entirely my question is are we also resurrected entirely our vision our hearing has resurrection life come our ambitions our choices to every part of our being so resurrection life in our finances resurrection life in our relationships resurrection life in our body every organ of our body coming under the life of Christ resurrection life of Christ coming under the life of Christ this morning Hiranthe and I prayed that none of us will be sick in Jesus name will you say Amen those of us who have walked with Christ for long we want every part of our organ of our body to be kept holy healed in resurrection life that's what resurrection life is for will you say Amen so then they came upon the empty tomb very early in the morning first day of the week they came upon the tomb the sun having risen it was a new sun it was a new covenant sun what scripture comes to your mind when when you when you hear the uh, the sun having risen any any scripture that comes to your mind pardon Yes, uh, which one is that? I'll read it to you. So the sun was risen upon the earth. A new sun, this is of course is a New Testament sun, but there are a few other climactic experiences which are described as a new or, or sun was risen. I'm sure you remember, sun was risen. Yes. Jacob. When Jacob became Israel, a grabber, became a prince with God, his femur was out of joint, but a new son was risen at Peniel. He saw the face of God and survived. Then maybe when Noah got out of the, got out of the ark, isn't it? So few types of resurrection. 
understood that new testament has the fulfillment of resurrection old testament has a few types meaning shadows of the resurrection so antitype is the fulfillment of course christ the resurrection aaron's staff that budded urim arm and body resurrection then the sheaf of first fruits that were offered on the day after the sabbath after the passover Jesus died okay 14th of Nisan Jesus died Passover lamb and the time begins at 6 p.m. and he dies before next day 6 p.m. next day 6 p.m. would be Sabbath from Friday to Saturday you are following or getting confused and after that Saturday what is the day after Saturday we call it Sunday those days Jews call it the day after the Sabbath so that particular day after the Passover lamb is sacrificed and they keep the Sabbath the day after the Sabbath they did something from the barley harvest which was the first harvest to come they take a sheaf of first fruit say with me sheaf of first fruit sheaf of first fruit and they take it and they do this the priest does this What are they doing? They are drawing the cross. Just the way the Passover lamb, the blood is applied on the doorpost and the lintel. They were doing without knowing a prophetic prototype. Now, resurrection is also a prophecy that I die and Jesus takes up his life in me. I repeat, resurrection is a prophecy that me, all me, dies and Jesus takes up his life in me that is the deal so it goes like this my sin was worthy of death now this is very difficult for someone who have been brought up well righteously good manners good background to say this my sin was taken up by the death of Jesus and when I acknowledge it and when I confess it I enter through the cross he takes my death my sentence my defeat my failure my past shall I repeat it he takes my sin my death my sentence my defeat my past he takes and he says I take it that I want to give my life and I want to live my life in your talent in your time in your skill in your life in your success get the point now many of us agree to the first one yes Jesus take my death take my sentence take my defeat take my past but he says I want to take your present and your future are you following me I want to take your treasure and your skill I want to take your ability and you said that you will be singing Mary's song my soul magnifies the Lord my spirit rejoices in God my Savior so when he takes our disability, our shame, and, and, and Mary Magdalene came from shame to fame, whatever things that disqualified us, some people knew, some things people did not know, it never needs to be known. But he has taken it over. Then he says, in all your qualifications, I want to work my glory. This way Christians have a problem. They have understood one part of the cross, the part he takes over the bad things the other part is he takes over the good things he takes over the success that is coming for his purpose if you understood this giveaway this is the deal we are entering when we say I follow you Lord Jesus okay so there is light at the end of the tunnel that's what Mary found night is darkest before the dawn it's not over until it's over tell you never it's not over until it's over so she stuck through uh, she saw she marked the grave in which he was 
put in. Mary the mother of Jesus was also there that evening but she did not come on the resurrection morning. It must have been very hard for her, isn't it? It must have been very hard for her. Because still they were not believing he'll be resurrected. Though he said it three times and in many other ways, prophecies said it, they were still not believing. It was hard for her. He, she was recuperating from this grim brutality. And these ladies came and they found the Lord has already worked. Man's extremity is God's opportunity. When there is no plan B possible, plan A becomes God's solution. So here is the resurrection principle. If you are opting out your plan, you always have a plan D, B, you will not see resurrection power which God has for plan A. Did you follow me? In, when there is a situation, you have your plan, then we go with our plan. The best God had to express his power did not come through where I had already taken plan B. We often work in situations with our plan up our sleeve. But if we wait, push to the wall, God will come and deliver. Think of this. Any pressing need you have, you are saying, I'll go the way of Via Dolorosa. I'll take up the cross on this. I'll wait till resurrection morning. I'll go to the cross. I will identify with Jesus. I'll get buried. No matter what people say. I will become the corn of wheat that falls down to the ground. I'll stop the kicking. I'll stop the protesting. I'll stop the, brain trans the blame transfer. I will die. As Jesus died, lamb taken for the slaughter silent before his shearers, isn't it? But we, if the Hosalagi massacre goes, we give out a yell. Leave alone the nails, leave alone the stripes, leave alone the crown of thorns that are smashed into his head. For the slightest pinch we feel, the slightest insult, innuendo, uh, 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 little bad treatment we will at least take a phone call and say I was badly treated I'm not going there any, thereafter I won't go that way get the point if we die Jesus death in our present problem take it up as he did his resurrection will come beloved I am saying we are missing so much of the knowledge of Christ because Our self is so alive. We take offense so, so soon. So soon. When the Lord is in a process of taking us his way. With the first stripe. With the first tongue lash. With the first thorn prick. With the first nail prick. We are protesting and coming off God's program. Did you understand me? There's a God's program in every bad thing, sad thing we face. That is called through all things, God works for good. The resurrection. For them that love him and are called according to his purposes. What is the bad thing at present you are feeling? Shall we say, I will work it out to the ruddy end with God. I'll be silent. I'll be forgiving. I'll bear it up. You know, they, they said all kinds of things. His disciples themselves forsook him. I will take it up Christ's way. I want to see for once his resurrection power working for me in this problem. I want to see his resurrection power working for me in this problem. I'll go the God way. I'll do the God program. If there are thorns, I'll take it. If there are nails, I'll take it. If there are lashes, I'll take it. I will see how Christ works it out. Did you understand this? There is a way like that. There is a way like that. This is not preached, but this is the way 
This is why the church lacks so much of resurrection power because we are always avoiding the cross when it is coming, when the self difficulty is coming. We take plan B and we lose out on God's plan A resurrection. And they said among themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back for it was very great. Here's the resurrection principle. When you move early morning darkness, last time you saw the rock there, massive and big. When you move, God begins to move. Will you say it? When I move, God begins to move. When I move, God begins to move. What is the thing in your life? You want God's solution. You are saying now, I will move and I believe the rock will be rolled. Now this rock is the obstruction that there is for God to take us to the next thing he has for us. Next way of dealing. Next way of pressing through. Going through a tribulation and coming to victory. When we are younger Christian, God provides a way of escape. So here is the rock. He provided an escape. Sometimes he provides a flight. But a time will come to us Rock doesn't move. There is no escape. You have to bow it through. Did you understand that? When we are young Christians, he provides escape. Sometimes, sudden flight of, it just vanished, problem vanished. We didn't, but sometimes, you have to go through the furnace, you have to go through the rock, isn't it? And experience what it is like when he's boring through a hard path, little traverse path. He says, come, I'll this time, I'll take you through the rock. That is also a way God deals with us. And we will see light at the end of the tunnel. And the tunnel was difficult, but we are going to see light. That is a resurrection principle. So they moved while it was dark and the rock had already been rolled. And he said, the door of the tomb for us. Who will move the tomb for us, the rock for us? Jesus. And now when there's a rock in our way, you must not blame. Imagine you have been using the well from the neighbor's, water from the neighbor's well. Okay, and you get a stone in the kidney. God forbid it. I'm drawing a parable. And the, because you were cutting down on the cost of the tap water, so you want to bring the water bill down, and the neighbor was gracious. She said, please take it. There's enough water in our well. You can just take it. You can even put a pump and use the water. It's okay. This well has enough water. So you have been using your own pump and getting water from the neighbor's well. But you get a kidney stone. Now you say, hmm. You didn't tell me that stones come when you drink from this water. Your ancestral stones have come to me and big hullabaloo about this neighbor's water that produced the stone. Now that will not move the stone. So what's the resurrection principle? When a stone has come, God will work with me. And who will roll the rock for me? God will roll the rock for me. Not another prophecy. Not another bit of praying. There are things in life you have to meet with Jesus. Give me a wave if you understood. You have to meet with Jesus. No option. And in it you will find him. He will work with you. And when a critical mass of his presence comes in, the rock rolls. In your situation, I don't know what it is. There is a gathering of God. There is a pathway, there is a presence, and there is a pleasure. In it, God will come through. So we have looked at these three verses. We now want to go to Psalm 16, which is a resurrection psalm. Will you say it in Psalm 16? I want to begin at 
the resurrection part of the psalm 16 9 to 11 resurrection prophesied psalm 16 was 9 to 11 now there are many psalms and in every prophet there is a sequence from death to resurrection on good friday i did psalm 22 this is psalm 16 isaiah 53 also you will find crucifixion to resurrection pattern psalm 16 9 to 11 so now we have agreed to jesus rolling the rock there is a pathway will you say it me pathway presence and pleasure that's how the rock moves thank you 16:9-11 therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices my flesh also will will dwell securely for you will not abandon my soul to sheol nor will you allow your holy one to undergo corruption who is speaking who is speaking david the prophet is speaking in the spirit of the messiah speaking the pre incarnate christ is speaking through david's spirit david is going through one of his difficult experiences he went through many some because of his folly many because he chose to walk with god I'll repeat it in the spirit of David the spirit of the messiah is speaking so here is messiah speaking my heart is glad and my glory rejoices my flesh also will dwell securely david is taking up the spirit of prophecy of messiah and saying my flesh will be secure my soul will not be left in sheol and you will not allow your holy one to undergo corruption and paul and peter both interpret Peter in Acts 2, Paul in Acts 13, David said this not of David but of Jesus. If you understood that give away. David lived in the Old Testament. Holy Spirit came upon David and Holy Spirit leaves because cross hasn't happened. After the cross, Holy Spirit comes and he can make a temple in us all the time because of the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit follows the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit can't follow the blood of animals. So in the Old Testament, Holy Spirit comes and then moves out because Holy Spirit can't make a human body the temple. But Jesus' blood has not been applied. Now, where is the temple of the Holy Spirit? We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So at a time when the Holy Spirit came to David, David is feeling like Jesus. Now when the Holy Spirit is continually in us we are meant to think like Jesus talk like Jesus act like Jesus all the time correct isn't that so that's the new testament calling but in the old testament when the holy spirit got hold of the spirit of a prophet at that time they begin to feel like the messiah understood you give away so he begins to feel what the messiah will go through and what is he saying messiah's soul will not be abandoned in sheol you will not allow your holy one to undergo corruption so jesus came back to life isn't it his body didn't undergo corruption he came back to life you will and what is the result of this resurrection you will make known to me the path of life in your presence is the fullness of joy in your right hand there are pleasures forevermore write down pleasure equals will of god this is the life the lord wants to train in us pleasure equals will of god god's will is my pleasure jesus said it in psalm 40 oh god i i come to do your will i come to do your good pleasure god my pleasure equals god's will that's what resurrection life of jesus will do for us every time when a choice comes his will is my pleasure now sometimes we know the will of god and we drag ourselves to do it 
sometimes we know the will of god and our flesh drags us away from the will of god have these things happened to you isn't it these things happen we know the will of god but our flesh that our nature rather than god's nature drags us away from the will of god and for a while we are in the wilderness because we have gone out of the will of god and then through some hard knocks we come back we have lost time we have lost some pleasure we have lost the presence of god but we know the path say with me i know the path my plea today is this know the path be filled with the presence and may the will of god become our pleasure always that it would not be hard to do that which pleases the lord if you understood me give away that it would not be hard to do that which pleases the lord we have a battle isn't it we know what pleases the lord but inside our organs and thoughts cry another voice do it your way while driving while working in the simplest of things while eating the next thing isn't it part of you says enough of eating other part of you says i have paid 2500 for the buffet eat as much as you can and don't eat dinner you don't have to take next day's breakfast also eat now as much as you can simplest of things but there are other things when either the flesh bodily desire anger offense takes us away say with me path his presence his pleasure now we all know i am the jesus said i am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the father but by me we are all agreed on that jesus is the only way he is the only name given under heaven where man might find salvation no other way are you agreed on that we are all agreed on the path correct no other way resurrection opens up not only the path it oh, the resurrection of christ opened up the presence of god you remember that eastern gate of the garden of eden when adam and eve came out of it there was fixed a sword and cherubims no way to enter the tree of life you remember that sword does with a flame turning around is open resurrection open the presence of god they were with doors closed not not only did he come through a, a, a rolled rock that is the original rock and roll he came through it and he also came through the closed doors of the fears of disciples he can there are certain things we have closed up in our life not considering not negotiating because of fear jesus comes through so we are agreeing we have already agreed we have said jesus is the way no other way thank god for that that's the path now are we agreeing to his presence in your presence is fullness of joy lord i want in everything visit me be present with me was there today any time you did not want jesus to be present any time today you said jesus wink now do a nelsonian eye you know what that is nelson had only one eye the big admiral was the last 24 hours on anything that you said jesus now close your eyes jesus we are going to give up that life and say lord visit will you say this with me i thank you for the path i know jesus is the way i know jesus is the truth i know jesus is the life no other name given under heaven whereby man might be saved but i am asking you to visit me all the time be physically present with me are you praying with me be physically present with me in all my choices in all my decisions in all my ambitions be physically present don't close your eyes on me i am willing that your eyes be fully open on me all the time that's difficult that's difficult this is what resurrection opens up finally finally 
I am saying all your will is my pleasure whatever you have planned for me is my pleasure that's what the son said to the father father let not my will but your will be done it took him through great agony I don't know whether as a Christian you have packaged agony into your Christian experience or you have said that's not for me that's not for me but Jesus said deny yourself take up your cross and follow me daily so here I am defining this third stage the resurrection gives us when Jesus' life comes us in your right hand there are pleasures forevermore if we take up the will of God at every difficult point when it is going to cost you when it is going to cost you your reputation you know how many times never mind that I think you, you, you know I always contend for the truth with different different people meaning I stand up for the truth of the gospel but because I am not a practicing doctor they give left-handed compliments that I am a pastor I am a, a paid fellow I am an evangelist so he's not reliable but if I if I didn't do all that if I was a professor of medicine then they think that intellectual intellect is more valuable more reliable than being God's shepherd not you the world but that is the cost we decided to pay when we followed the Lord so we have taken a decision that his will has become our pleasure so when next time you have to witness in a family gathering you have to witness to those who work with you what would the will of God be speak to him that's what those two little little children said all the time isn't it tell the good news tell the good news in the workplace tell the good news to your fellow worker tell the good news at the Peter Wright Josephian match tell the good news to the Josephians who are losing tell the good news in the Royal Thumian match tell the good news in the law medical ball tell the good news in the blo block night isn't it horrible place but tell the good news not a nice place but you know medical students have to go through it tell the good news that's the will of God so I'm asking you thank you for committing yourself to the path will you say Jesus visit me all the time be present with me all the time in my secret moments be present with me never leave me isn't that what it says in your presence is the fullness of joy thirdly in your right hand there are pleasures forevermore two things there we agree that the will of God is my pleasure no matter what difficult moments difficult moments you feel I can't witness they laugh at me this is a nice place this is a family gathering don't be a spoiled sportman what is this you are trying to witness here your wife wants to witness you are pinching her or he wants to witness she's pinching me kick, 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 kicking under the kicking under the table keep quiet keep quiet keep quiet this is not the place to give a track keep quiet keep quiet keep quiet so wherever I go without anybody seeing I put tracks into my pocket lest whoever sees says what are you going to do and judiciously I, I think judiciously I go and give tracks I go and do this because for me I'm saying Lord every time easy time middle time very difficult time let your will be my pleasure did you understand let your will be my pleasure now God can be heavy-handed and he might do his pleasure his will in our life notwithstanding we saying yes it may come from death deathbed experience as it happened to Hiranthi and me I was laid down on a sick bed in 1986 for nearly three months I feel I was obstinate like a mule I don't know how he will do his strong hand with you when God is minded to get his way done he can because he is God he's not going to ask you for permission but there's an easier way 
saying yes. Shall we say yes? Your will, my pleasure, in easy things, middle, di middle difficult things, very difficult things. I'm sure some of you have paid the price for doing the will of God in very difficult things. There's a reward. There's a reward. There's a reward. Morning will come. Night will be over. Let's pray.